Hello everyone, I hope you are having a fantastic day. In this video we are going to be no hitting all Elden Ring bosses in New Game Plus with what the community consider as the best weapon of the whole game. The Blasphemous Blade is an amazing great sword which has a lot of powerful and unique features that makes it the favorite sword of almost every player. You just need to defeat Rikard and give his remembrance to Enya in exchange for the awesome great sword. The best features of the Blasphemous Blade are mainly how easy to use it is, the crazy amount of damage it deals and the completely absurd healing feature obtained when using the unique skill take flame or when you defeat any enemy. In almost every From Software game, especially in the most recent ones Dark Souls 3, Sekiro and Elden Ring, the aggressiveness on combat is highly rewarded. But with this weapon the devs are allowing you to become an unstoppable maniac. I'd say that when you wield this weapon you are indeed unbeatable. I really love this great sword and I want to show you how to use it properly to appreciate its true potential. The healing feature of this incredible sword can turn the worst player you can imagine into a complete monster. First of all I'm going to show you the build and then we will beat every major boss of the game without taking a single hit. We are going to be using the Blasphemous Blade on plus 10, I chose the Giant Seal to boost the power of our incantations and to cast our main buffs, however feel free to use any seal you have available. If you want you can use the Commander's Standard as your aura buff in short fights, it's a little bit better than Golden Vow but it doesn't last as long as this one. I am going to be using the Drake Knight set with the Knight Helmet, this combination looks amazing and provides very decent stats for New Game Plus. The best talismans for this build are the Ritual Sword Talisman, the Shard of Alexander, the Fire Scorpion Charm and the Old Lord's Talisman. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic we will use the Flame Shrouding Crack Tear and the Stonebark Crack Tear, but if you want a little bit of more damage you can use the Fade Note perfectly fine. This weapon consumes stamina in a moderate manner, so crafting Pickle Turtle Legs for this one is completely optional. In order to obtain the max performance of this build we are going to level up Vigor and Endurance to 40, Strength to 60 and Fade to 80. Golden Bow and Hall of Shabriti will be our main boss. Catch Flame, Born O Flame and Giant's Flame Take D are amazing incantations that fit very well with the style of the build. Anyways, with the high amount of faith we use for this build, feel free to choose any incantations you'd like to play. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? But before we have a quick message from today's video sponsor, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. Oh, it works, bro! <laughs> I I thought it was going to end with a little bit of HP, robot. <laughs> no, he's gone, baby. No, maybe not. Wow, what are you doing, Godri? Okay, I'll take that one. This is nice. Oh, crazy, bro. But this is perfect. Oh, my God, dude. Nice. Oh, that's damage, bro. Oh, let's go. <laughs> that's some real damage, baby. Oh my god, bro! Oh my god, bro! Ah! <laughs> wow, how is that possible, man? Oh my god, why am I alive, bro? Let's go! <laughs> 
I don't know why I deal that much damage, but I am happy. It took me a bunch of tries, guys. I guess we are not going to be friends this time. Oh my god, this is the ultimate cheese experience? It is, it is! Bonkers. Oh! Oh, I was getting scared. Oh my god, you're not going anywhere! <laughs> nice! What is going on? Nice! This fight is always a very interesting experience, guys. can happen to me bro the projectile go went all the way behind here bro that doesn't make sense wow but the damage is insane guys what Bumping guys! Oh, oh bad idea, buddy. Oh. <laughs> What a nice kill, baby. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, guys. Oh my god, no, don't do that. This doesn't happen that much, bro. Ooh, nice try, buddy. Okay, guys, let's buff. First of all, Golden Bow. Or your Aura buff. In this case, it's going to be Golden Bow. Pickle Turtle Neck. Your Flask of Wondrous Physic. Howl Shabri, and you're ready to go. I recommend you to two hand the weapon because it scales with the strength, so it's better. And let's begin with this bad boy. It's a lot of damage, honestly. 
Nice. Now we go with this one. Oh, this one is going to be better. Another one. Now we can deal an extra one. That's very good, guys. No. Wow, I didn't I didn't imagine that though. Ooh, nice baby. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. That's a lot of damage, really. Oh, bad idea, buddy. You're not going to last that much. Oh my god, this is perfect. I'm gonna give it to you. Let's go. <laughs> this is hot, bro. Look at what I get from your friend Rykard. I mean, he's not your friend, though, but... Let's see how good this one is on, on the real one. Man. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. You are amazing as the beast. You are amazing. You fought like a god, bro. First try, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's try to go aggressive on this dude. Hmm. A little bit of silly stuff. And let's go. I wanna see the party. One, two, and three, baby. And we have finished with the blasphemous blade, bro. It is not the weapon that deals the highest amount of damage, but as long as you are using the skill, you are constantly healing a lot of your total HP. So if you are a high vigor player, you are going to get a lot from this weapon, bro. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. That way you will support me a lot. Have a great day, guys. My name is Carlos, and I'll see you in the next one.